Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is RimWorld. And we are back today at our Hussar and High Maid Colony. As you can see, it's turned into quite the colorful colony. Just up here to the north, we've, we've been establishing a bridge over the massive river here on the map. And this location is pretty much dedicated to our guests. So I've got a whole bunch of the hospitality mods installed, including the casino mod, We've also got, oh, the sauna mod or whatever it is. Yeah, so you can set up saunas and stuff like that. We also have vending machines. So it's been a lot of fun playing around with this hospitality. And we're not even done yet. I've still got a, another platform. I'd like to construct this. And I think we decided we're going to do like a restaurant over here. So we're going to set up a cash register and we're going to have nice amounts of food and somebody working over here staffed and ready to go. But um, right now we do have a small group of guests here yeah just a few folks but uh, man as time goes by i'd love to see some more people show up and hopefully some rich people too because we've got oh that's right we've got a casino going over here a very small one for now i will expand out some of these uh, slot machines and stuff but you know what's cool is it actually shows like the lifetime earnings and stuff like that obviously these were all just constructed very recently and I literally think this is the first guest visit we've had. So I, don't, I haven't noticed anybody in here playing these, but I'm going to be keep a close eye on that. That is kind of the main theme of our colony. At least that was my intention starting off was to try and get as much hospitality going as possible. And luckily, we're just starting to get to that point, man. It's taken a while, but the bridge itself is a pre it's a cool bridge because obviously you can build it over deep water and you can construct walls and buildings on it and stuff, as you can see. But it's very resource intensive, it kind of balances it out. You know, it takes steel in addition to stone. So each one of these little squares is pretty expensive here. I'll just show you too. Let's go into it because I got a little bit of stone, so I don't mind placing some of this. So I'm going to grab the sandstone bridge because I do have some sandstone. And let's start over here on this section. Oh, that needs to be the deep water there. So let's go for the sandstone deep water bridge. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, you can see just how expensive it is. This little area. Oof. All right, so we'll fill that in with the deep water, and then it's wanting this part for the rest of the bridge there. Now, what is up with this little section? This spot right here, well, I can't fill that in with either of those. What's up with that? Sandstone bridge requires terrain that supports bridgeable. What is this terrain right here? Um, not sure what's going on with that, but we will have to deal with it. I can still probably build a wall over it, but, um, anyway, so that, that's what's going on with the hospitality and the colony is doing pretty good. Just got a shaman merchant show up. So I'm happy about that. Our thrombos are still alive and active and eating me out of all my food, man. I tell you what, the thrombo army has been really great. They've saved this colony multiple times. But they do eat quite a bit of food, as you can see. Oh my god, my freezer is almost bare bones again. I've got a bunch of meat, and that's it. So I think we, we just came back from a little trip onto the world map where I had established a, another colony right here, and then I abandoned it. What we did was we just collected all the steel, opened up the ancient danger that, that was there, and brought back all the goodies and stuff. So I want to really get to try and fill this out with hydroponics base so i'm gonna put this and you can see the stinking thrombos are in here just eating all the produce and stuff i wish they'd go out to the map and eat outside the walls i do have them totally unrestricted but i guess they just have a taste for rice huh okay check it out we just had a slaver arrive but this isn't actually a caravan we can trade with no 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 this is for a contract that we've got fulfilled i believe they're here to pick up the three tox grenades so let's grab one of our kids here arthas check out the contracts for me there buddy um we've got i hope it's still here i don't know maybe it cleared it off i'm not sure but we're about to get like thirty-two thousand silver for these tox grenades um i don't see it but no worries of course as soon as if they make it off the map safely if that caravan picks up their goods and they get out of here safely then we're going to get a little pop-up notification asking where we want to deposit that money and of course i will show you guys right away as soon as we get the the big bucks okay well as promised we just got the pop-up there it is thirty-seven thousand silver 
for three tox grenades. Man, oh man, I'm telling you guys, if you're just tuning in for the first time, this little console comes from the Vanilla Trading Expanded mod, and it is so cool. It's got quite a few things here. You can look at prices, you can do the stock market, which we did play around with a little bit, but it's you're just kind of gambling. But the contracts are where it's at, man. Some of these are so lucrative, it's just insane. Let's look at some of because you're looking for some of these with a high markup. Look at that. 30 bison wool tribal wear for 23,000. It's almost a 700% markup. Um, you know, I don't, obviously, I don't have any bison wool, so we can't do that one. But some of these are just incredibly easy and totally worth it. But some of them are a little bit ridiculous, like 5,900 cherries for 12,000. Nah, I probably won't be doing that one. But, um, I don't know, one synthetic heart for 11,000. That's, that's reasonable, you know what I'm saying? But now overall, the contracts have been really cool. That's uh, probably the best part of that mod, honestly. And man, oh man, we are literally swimming in cash now. So I just uh, sent Shepard up here to talk to this shaman merchant. I'm going to grab all their food, definitely. You know what? I'm going to grab their animals too, and we're just going to butcher these up right away. Um, I might, you know what? Hold on. Let's cancel that shepherd. What we're going to do. So we have some extra money. We're going to go ahead and contact the bank. So that 37,000 silver is actually in our bank account right now. So I need to request, wait, what did I choose the wrong one? Where is it? Uh, hold on a sec. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, yeah, I had the wrong bank. So this is it. The bank, the Empire Bank is where I sent it to. So we hit confirm to remove 37,000. Asks us yes. It takes a little bit off. You know, there's a fee for that. But then they're going to drop it right here. Boom. Don't get hit in the head, guys. Look at that. Hey, and don't touch my silver either. So we just need to get that moved over. And then boom, we're going to do some serious trading with this little shaman merchant. All right, well, it's nothing too crazy. Just some animals, like I said. They're pemmican. Of course, we're taking their shock and insanity lances 100%. But right away, those animals are going to get butchered. As mentioned, slaughter them up, folks. Oh, there we go. Don't slaughter any of the visiting animals. Don't do that. Okay, well, you know what they say. Easy come, easy go. So I've got 27,000 silver left after our last trade. And we actually had an exotic goods trader, a ship, show up. It's like the first ship I've had in years, it feels like. But I'm not grabbing a whole lot from them. Probably the coolest thing is the invisibility and the advanced bionic leg. I'd like to get the advanced power arm too. But I'm going to have to fulfill a few more contracts before we can afford something like that outright. But there we go. Like I said, now we're broke again. But hey we got some more animals which of course are going to get butchered right away i've already got plenty of milk animals like we've got cows and i just purchased some chickens too recently so they're down here now but um really what we need is produce so i've actually decided to, to put my uh thrombos all in the barn here I was thinking about setting up just a zone for them to wander around that includes everything but this room because they're literally they were just coming right in here to eat and it was pissing me off. So I decided, you know what, screw that. I'm going to restrict them at least for a while so we can actually get some of this stuff harvested without the massive thrombos eating it all. And yes, they'll probably be in here starving, but that's OK. I mean, it's not the end of the world. And we haven't had any animals actually die from starvation, but, um, well, they, they've been pretty hungry. But, hey, that just makes them better fighters, right? Uh-oh, look at this. Athena and Arthas have just started a social fight with each other. This isn't good. Got a couple of uh, Hussar high-made hybrids. Oh, okay, they didn't kill each other. Thank God. Uh, I'm having flashbacks to my most recent playthrough, the uh, Toxic Waster series. I tell you what, those to those Waster um, Xenogerm, man, those guys are so aggressive. They constantly got into social fights during that playthrough. It was like a running joke, man, oh man. But uh, nonetheless, this has been the first one I've seen amongst the kids. Pretty interesting. Probably just bumps and bruises. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah couple of cracks here too you got to watch those kids man but um we just had one kid ejected from the growth vat it was little Gita. yeah Gita. 
aged up to four years and nine days. Actually, she stayed in there a little bit longer than uh, normal. I'm not sure why, but it was weird. I had to manually eject her. Normally, I think when they hit three years old, you get that growth moment, but she didn't get a growth moment, strangely enough. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but oh well, no big deal. I've got so many kids at this point, I, I don't even care. Oh my god, look at this. Athena literally just got healed up and she's out here starting social fights again. This time it's with AIM. She just seems to let, not like anybody whose name starts with the letter A here. That's crazy, but um, oh, and she got beat up. She got beat up, laid out. Oh, you know what, AIM? Why don't you go ahead and rescue her, buddy? No hard feelings, right? Shake hands and take your sister to the hospital, please. Hey, all right, look at this. Jean has now grown up, age 13, officially an adult. That is amazing. So let's see what traits we've got. Optimus, cool. So he's already iron-willed, super immune. This is a violent, capable pawn, which is amazing. Oh, let's go hard worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron-willed, super immune, hard worker, kind, delicate, psychically deaf. Very nice looking pawn here. The delicate thing isn't the greatest, obviously, but... I mean, most of our hybrids and all our high mates are delicate, but it's really not been that big of a deal. Like we've got pawns like lady here. She's delicate, obviously, but, um, hasn't, I haven't noticed it like really knocking out our pawns too much. So I'm okay with that and now. Okay. Hard workers. Fine. I really don't see the need to put extra passions in shooting or melee. I mean, they're probably going to just max it out here shortly. Anyway, we'll do one of construction. Hmm. I probably should do one in social. God, I was hoping to do like a double in intellectual or something. Oh, well, one more, right? Yeah, one more. Okay, plants, no. Animals, no. All right, melee. We'll double up melee. I don't care. But uh, there we go. Now, one thing I've been doing with these kids who, at least the violent capable kids, there's a gene. Once they hit 13... I get them to come on down and insert themselves into the growth fat. This was an idea that was recommended to me by a commenter several episodes back, but I figure it's, it's actually a really good idea. So at age 13, like I said, they're officially adults, but they don't technically have all their hit points yet. So what that means is, you know, their body like has each, each part has a certain amount of damage it can take. Well, not until they're 18 do they get like that full, you know, ability to take all the damage. So we're gonna put this this person here, this guy, into the growth fad. Oh, and also at age 13, they cannot get involved in romantic relationships. So they need to be 18 for that. So that's another side. I feel like there was another reason to do it too, and I can't remember. But yeah, I mean, it's a very short amount of time. Obviously, it's uh, gonna be a lot quicker than waiting five years for this part to go from 13 to 18 so it's actually really smart now early on i wasn't able to do it because you know it would have just like camp you know we needed every gun in the fight basically but now that we've got a pretty decent army here and especially our thrombos to watch our backs i think it's a smart idea to put them in the growth fat and they should pop out at 18 that's one thing i have noticed when i do this now i don't have to manually eject them or keep an eye on them once they hit 18 they just pop right out and they're ready to fight okay well i've been closely monitoring the contracts here obviously and i think i found the best one yet that's achievable there are some more lucrative ones like 500 d worm here but i'm not going to be making those but look at this one two knee spikes for fifty-two thousand silver oh it's a 600 percent markup so i actually went in because i didn't have this research so when i saw that i was like i got to figure out exactly what research that is and we are now currently constructing it yes we did go in and it was very easy I just went to the search bar and I typed in knee and it showed compact weaponry it would have taken me forever to search through the research just to find that but our good friend buddy is over here he's sleep deprived he's recreation deprived you know what buddy you know what that means you get to inject some go juice yeah now you're no longer deprived right go so he's gonna construct up two of those and we're gonna be rich again 
Oh boy, look at this. Randy is trying to end the colony. No, not really. He's sending a pretty weak raid at us, honestly. 1,700 points? That's it? Well, it is a drop pod raid, and they're dropping in right on top of us. So, I mean, even with a small threat point count, they could still have some rocket launchers and stuff. So we got to take this seriously. Let me go ahead and put all my mechs away and grab all the kids and put them in safety. And then we're going to see where these guys land. Okay, everybody should be set to... Oh, look, they're heading up. They're dropping right here. <gasps> I bet you they're going to go straight for my resource pile and try and steal everything. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. We've got the thrumbos are coming out. Oh, my God, look at them. Where do, where's the best... Let's, let's come over here. Let's move our peeps over to this little choke point. Because like I said, I bet you that as soon as they see this wealth, they're going to try and grab it and run away. So let's get Shay over here too. And you know what? Actually, no, no, no. We'll put Shay on this side right here. And if they do, the thrombos are going to straight up attack them. So this is going to be fun. Let's see how this goes. Everybody else is retreating down here into the mech room. The recharge room. Look at the thrombos. There they are. Oh, holy God. Okay, okay. Yep. Look at that. Rocket launcher. Is that a triple threat? Triple threat. They're not even all opened up yet, but let me go ahead and grab. Shock land. Shock that man. Oh, crap, bro. You need to get up a little closer. All right. Let's shock him. Okay. Do, I, do you guys see any more rocket launchers? This guy's trying to drink some goat juice real quick. Okay, okay. Arslan, give me an insanity lance right there on that guy. Another rocket launcher right there. Oh, look, he's going for... He's trying to kill my thrombos, bro. Okay, no, he's fine. Okay, we dropped that dude. Cool, cool. Strong's taking some hits. That's okay. Shock that melee, dude. Shock him. Shock him. Come on, Strong. All right. And... Oh, what is being shot at over here? What is this? Oh, somebody's got like an incendiary thing or something. All right, Shay, release the, release the thrombos of war. Oh, okay. I thought that was one of our people. No, no, no. All right, let me see here. Bro, you got nothing? Did, oh, he must have just used it, didn't he? I was going to say, how is he walking around with no sidearm? It's like, bro... We've got so many of these, I'm not even worried about it. I'm just going to shock the crap out of these people. Come on. Oh, look at the thrombos. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better retreat. <laughs> Let's fall back a little bit so our people don't have to take... Oh, what was that? Oh, that was an explosive belt. I thought he destroyed one of the rocket launchers or something. Wow. Well, like I said, even a 1,700 threat point raid count can still be pretty damaging, but... Overall, it wasn't too bad. We just got to clean things up. And hey, you know what's cool now is we got a few prisoners, which is actually really, really good. I've been hoping to get my hands on some of these people so we can dissect their brains. I need to pull, pull a few brains out here. We got some people who need brain transplants. So that's what we're going to be doing with these guys. I've got a couple. Yeah, we're going to grab these people right away. Before anybody gets any medical treatment, you guys need to capture me some prisoners. Let's go. All right. And I honestly don't even think I need these wind pumps anymore. I'm going to delete these. We definitely need the pump or the, I'm sorry, the pipe here. But the pumps themselves, I was having some issues with getting the water to flow throughout the colony. So I researched the industrial level pump station, which is what this is. I'm hoping this is going to be enough because it's... Yeah, I think we'll have enough with that, so I don't have to waste steel and components. In fact, let's go ahead and just deconstruct this one just to see how that goes. But nonetheless, pretty successful little raid. That was fun. Man, oh man, I wish that would happen more often, but you know how it is. You start to get late stages. It does take a while, but hey, at least we had a little bit of action today, right? Okay, well, this is probably going to be a failure because Shay has got some... Mo uh, some ah, yep. No, 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 she didn't fail. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, she removed the brain perfectly. And the body, of course, can't survive without the brain. But that's exactly what we wanted. Very, very good. So we got another one set to be, to be de-brained here. What are you doing? 
Oh, he's moving bed. So I thought he was coming to eat the brain or something. But we've got two dirt moles here who are still injured. So I don't know what we're going to do with them. I might just release them. But I needed the brains. We did. I've been trying to role play as like a good, col an honorable colony where we don't harvest our prisoners and stuff. And so far, we've been doing pretty well with that. But there's just, uh, I've got two people who need brains. One of them's in this crypto sleep casket here. It's uh, Leslie. She's got resurrector. Uh, resurrection psychosis so i'm trying to do try and do a full brain transplant with her in fact let's pop her out yeah open that up let's get her out because i want to uninstall that neuro calculator i've got and then we're going to do the brain transplant on her and as i recall there was somebody else who had like a, a brain scar who's going to need one to okay here it is it's uh, morgan morgan's got a brain scar so we got to get that brain replaced on her but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, that's going to be it. I'm not going to be doing any more. Whoa, get back here, Leslie. I don't want you running around the colony. Listen to me. This this little girl, she's got that resurrection psychosis because she died, obviously. And I used the resurrector mech serum on her. And she went into, like, with this psychosis, she went into, I don't know, two or three murderous rages. So it was pretty annoying. And at that point, I, I just decided to lock her into that... Um, casket there so let's see what i'm gonna do is remove the neuro calculator i hope that doesn't ruin it we'll see i don't know i haven't ever i don't think i've ever removed a brain implant but we'll see how that goes and then i'm going to install the brain let's let's hold off on that but you go right to bed okay oh actually let's put her in one of these hospital beds i'm still trying to get all these switched out in fact, I think we probably got enough steel and components at this point to do that real quick. So we'll we'll work on that here. Poor little Leslie. I hope this works out for you, Leslie. Let's see. Did we get that second brain already? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's move this one. And I'm going to grab Morgan. Consume and stir fry, huh, Morgan? Well, you're about to get a brand new brain. Let's see. Where is it? Install brain. There we go. Okay, and I want to make sure she's set to the best quality medicine. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at this. We've actually got some meals in here now. Can you believe it? Wow. When the thrombos aren't eating all my produce, turns out the cooks can actually make some stuff with that. So it was worth it. But like you can see, we do have the stupid animal starvation, but I don't care. At this point, the thrombos are fine. They, they just, uh, you know, they just carried out a nice little massacre for us. So everything's going pretty good. Oh, crap. Um, anyway, let's get rid of these corpses and stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to closely monitor the operations. I want to make sure that it's not Shay doing it because she's got... Um, some manipulation and con uh, consciousness penalties from her psychic bond distance. So I'm literally going to force... Okay, good. Shep's over here doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I'm going to force our best doctor to do it, which is probably Shep. He's got a really good high score. He's maxed out on his medicine. Plus, he's got a little bonus here. You know what? I need to give... I, I think I'm going to give Shay the neurocalculator. I don't know if that will actually help mitigate some of this penalty here but i mean until basnoki shows back up and we can recruit him she's pretty much oh look did you see that she loves to do that you know what that's my fault i need to make sure she's not doing surgery here let's get somebody else who's halfway decent to do it see that's the problem is we really only have the one person but a shepherd who's a maxed out 20. now if we're just removing like an infected arm or something it's not that big of a deal i'd let buddy do it but if we're installing advanced bionics and stuff like that i don't want to risk using somebody who's only got like a 10 or 11 medical to operate i'd rather have shay do it but um yeah shepherd hey buddy you're just gonna have to work extra hard today okay there it is awesome awesome so the neuro calculator, what does this do exactly? Research speed. Well, that's not going to be helpful at all to Shay. In fact, I know exactly who that's going to go to. My man Vaz here, buddy. You are getting yourself a neuro calculator. Yeah, the only reason I installed that in the kid was because I thought it might do something to help that uh, resurrection psychosis, but obviously I was totally wrong. Okay, and now the really delicate procedure. To reinstall a fresh brain here in Leslie Jr. Come on, we can pull this off. Yes! Oh, we did it! So she's got a little crypto sleep sickness, but you can see that resurrection psychosis is totally gone. That is amazing. Leslie Jr. is back, baby. She's back. 
In fact, I'm going to turn her off. I'm trying to give some of these kids a break from work so they have better growth moments and stuff. And, you know, if they're nonviolent, then I really don't care. I just make them haul and stuff. Who cares, right? But if they are violent capable, then I'd really like to have them grow up to have some seriously good, you know, traits and skills and stuff. So, but otherwise, that's that's what's going on there. Now, Vaz is getting the neuro calculator. Where's Morgan? Did I? Oh, Morgan's right there. All right, Morgan, you're next. Install the brain. Let me make sure. Yep. And of course, it's just to replace that mangled scar. It's not the end of the world. In fact, she's a little bit better off, I think, than Shay is overall. But still, if we got a, if we got an extra brain laying around, we might as well use it. Okay, there he is. Come on, Shepard. You can do it. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. That scared me, actually, because Andrea there became an adult it, literally at the exact moment that he finished that brain surgery. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, remain colonist, please. Yes. Um, oh, they just had her. Oh, look at that. See, I don't know why they're not popping them out. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it hasn't been like that the whole time. I'm just misremembering. But yeah, when they turn three, we can pop them on out of there. And now they can run around the colony and help us out a little bit. But like I say, some of these kids, I don't know. Andre, are you violent capable? No, I don't think, yeah, she. he's not, so this little guy's going to be put to work. Get out there and start hauling and stuff, especially while all our thrombos are locked in the barn right now. We do need the extra help, but, oh, you know what? Crap, that reminds me. Oh, whoopsie, I never released my mechs. Uh, whoops. Well, that's okay. Better safe than sorry, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. Oh, it was bound to happen. Shepard just failed catastrophically operating on Vaz, trying to install that neural calculator, and he killed him. Oh my god, trauma savant. Well, that's irrelevant now. Vaz is dead. Look, he's got no head. Literally destroyed the head. Cut off fresh. How do you do that, man? God. Oh, Shepard, you little jerk. I should have let Shay do it. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, it happens. It happens. We're going to throw him in the freezer. And I'm not giving up on Vaz. Where is he at? He's probably at the bottom here. That really sucks, man. Vaz was our, one of our pure-blooded high mates here. Now, what's interesting is he was actually psychically bonded to one of our pawns, but she wasn't reciprocating. He just bonded to her, and that was it. Who was that? I think it was Lady V. Yeah, it was his lover. But I don't think they ever even consummated the relationship. Nonetheless, it's, um, it's a bit of a shame when that happens but i mean what the why is there so much silver here what the must have had it in his pocket or something this dude was carrying around almost nine thousand silver jesus well anyway guys wow that was kind of that was a rough one but nonetheless we did end up with a couple extra prisoners here now they're dirt both dirt moles so we're not going to recruit them i think we'll just let them hang around in the prison until we get our royal slave traders show up and we'll trade them away for some honor and stuff but uh that brings me to my last point of the episode today so we are approaching our 100th episode here in the hussar and high mate series which is a big momentous occasion hopefully now obviously i'm going to continue with the series and keep going and stuff we've got a lot more to build up here and you know i'd like to keep seeing what we can do seeing what kind of raids we can repel and stuff like that but the unfortunate truth is when you get this far into a series it takes me about two hours to record or one episode of a 30 minute episode so what i might end up doing is going to an every other day upload schedule for my rim world series we'll see how that goes it's just time as a factor and of course i've got other series going on the channel too so i've always got to balance that stuff out but i hope it's not too big of a disappointment for too big of a disappointment for anybody out there if i do go to an every other day schedule let me know what you think down in the comment section and stuff and of course if you're just watching Watching this after the fact you know after I've uploaded it you know a year months later or whatever it won't be an issue for you at all but uh, nonetheless guys I really appreciate you stopping by for today's episode hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and everybody say a little prayer for Vaz <laughs> oh, poor headless Vaz there he goes all right guys I will see you on the next one